Resources are the materials that we use daily and are beneficial to us. Resources are of two types, natural resources and human resources. Natural resources can be inexhaustible or exhaustible. Inexhaustible natural resources are sunlight, air, and water. Exhaustible resources are rocks and minerals, soil, fossil fuels, forests, and animals. Human resources can be skilled or unskilled. Skilled human resources are more useful as they are well trained in their work field. Classification of natural resources. The materials provided by nature to satisfy human needs are called natural resources. These are classified into two types, inexhaustible and exhaustible. Inexhaustible resources are also known as renewable resources. They do not get exhausted easily. Exhaustible resources are also known as non-renewable resources. They cannot be regenerated easily once exhausted. Rocks and Minerals Rocks are found on the surface of the earth, at the bottom of the ocean beds and in the interior of the earth. Metals like gold, minerals like mica, Quartz and iron ore are all obtained from rocks. We get limestone from rocks. Soil Soil contains loose particles of rocks, minerals which form the topmost layer of the earth's surface. It is loosened by various natural agents like wind, flowing water and overgrazing by animals. This causes soil erosion. Soil can be conserved by planting more trees and by checking overgrazing by animals. Water is used for drinking and domestic purposes. It is essential for cultivation of crops. Flowing water is used to produce electricity. Rains are primary source of fresh water. Rainwater harvesting technique helps in storing rainwater for future use. Air. It is necessary for survival of both plants and animals. Wind is also used in threshing and winnowing of grains. Windmills are used to generate electricity. Sunlight. The energy generated by sun is called solar energy. Solar gadgets such as solar batteries, cells, water heaters, solar cookers etc. use solar energy. Fossil fuels. Coal is used as a fuel for domestic purposes, generating electricity, running machines in factories and in train engines. Petrol, diesel, kerosene and lubricants are some of the petroleum products used as fuel for vehicles. Forests prevent soil erosion, provide shelter and food to animals, provide timber, medicines and pulp for paper. To conserve forest resources, we should grow more trees, should not cut trees and save paper. Animals Animals and birds maintain natural diversity and balance in nature. We use the meat and skin of animals. We get milk from cows, eggs from hen, wool, from sheep. Wildlife conservation. The killing of animals for their teeth, skin, tusk, bones and fur is called poaching. National parks and wildlife sanctuaries are built to protect animals and preserve their natural habitats.
the famous national parks in India are Bandipur National Park in Karnataka, Kobet National Park in Uttarakhand, Gir National Park in Gujarat. Human Resources Human beings are great assets for a country. A country can prosper only if it utilizes the full potential of its people. People themselves are called human resources. By being healthy and skillful, they can make the best use of their potential.